Hello everybody, welcome to our first um, one-off game I'm going to do, and that is uh, the first community level of Defense Grid The Awakening. I'm going to do this commentary a little bit differently, I'm actually doing this in post, so we're going to try and follow along. Now, this level was played by uh, myself and a friend of mine several times over the weekend, and we could not quite get a win in, and uh, it was after he... Uh, left and I had a chance to sleep on it a bit I finally realized what uh, what all I needed to do and that was um, a longer path so um, I'm going to set up first by uh, setting up these guns here to uh, determine the path the aliens are going to walk I'm going to send them down this long chain here um, and then as they around that corner I'm going to bring them back this way and uh, that way they're going to be exposed for the longest amount of time to all the guns we're going to be putting up here. So I'm setting up right here some cannon towers that are going to have to have the range to shoot uh, just about the whole field. Um, setting up final guns here to send the path all the way around Curly Q so we get maximum exposure time. Now when we uh, played this before, we'd always have the problem of the aliens getting to this first base, which you see on the top right there. And uh, then once they got past basically this first intro zone, we had a hard time making sure that they stayed uh, behind. And uh, we had a hard time killing everything. But with this new path, uh, we pretty much end them uh, before they even get a chance to get to that first base. So, uh, setting up more cannon towers here. And, uh,. These guys here will have the range to shoot basically from the first time the enemies turn around the corner. They're going to be getting shot at. We've got a temporal tower up front to make sure everybody gets slowed and slowed down. More cannon towers. <clears throat> and uh, it works very well, very nicely. I'm getting ready to set up a temporal tower over here, I believe. Uh, that will give me even more time to shoot baddies and make them, make them dead. Alright, so the first thing, this is the first mistake I make here. I put a meteor tower here in this spot. Now we do want a meteor tower to be able to hit the entire area that we're looking at here. I'll speed up a bit. But uh, what we really want there in that particular spot is a temporal tower. Here, put a temporal tower in right here to make sure that uh, we get enough coverage time for these invisible guys. Eventually, we're going to put a command tower there also. We've got a concussion tower up front to uh, get the groups that manage to get by. I we can get ready to put in that uh, command tower right now. Probably gonna speed this up a bit. In real time, this level took about 37 minutes, but uh, I've got it sped up here so that it gets done in about 15. Uh, we're gonna line this entire row here over time with cannon towers. So you can see these guys are coming in really fast. I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to take them all down. And I might have an escapee. And in subsequent play playthroughs, I actually have had uh, a couple of those fast guys get through. And, uh, pardon me, that's, uh, that's no good, because once they get through, it becomes very difficult to get them, even though there's a lot of extra level left behind here. Uh, I'm usually tapped out on money, and, uh, a single gun tower or cannon tower isn't going to cut it. You see here, I forgot to, uh, cut off that main, that little side road they could take there. I do believe we finished up our cannon towers around that middle row. First shield battalions are coming in. Um, the cannons do make short work of them. Fortunately, luckily, really not much luck to it. I spent a good little bit of time taking care of these guys. Okay, so yeah, I those that were sold back that uh, meteor tower, put in that temporal tower there, like I wanted. Um, I think I put in another meteor tower back here so I get double meteor coverage. 
is very useful for the uh, shielded uh, bad guy here. Okay, I put a command tower down at the bottom there too. I must have missed it doing that. Um, more cannon towers. These cannon towers are going to uh, give me double and triple coverage in the center section here. And that there is our first uh, boss monster. And I believe once we defeat him, that will actually start doing our upgrades. Yeah, actually we are already doing our upgrades here. I hit the uh, gun towers first for upgrades because uh, they are the cheapest and get me the greatest increase in firepower um, for the least amount of money. And uh, I've got those uh, gun towers scattered all throughout the level, so when I hit the upgrades on those, we actually get a nice, decent overall increase in firepower to take out the uh, aliens. And we'll speed up again. Take this guy out. He's almost done. That was a mistake. I meant to doze that tower and put up a temporal tower, but I guess I clicked weird somehow and built the tower in the middle by accident. These guys are a pain in the butt because they warp in uh, other lesser aliens, sometimes not even lesser aliens, and uh, they'll become a pain in the butt later. Upgrading towers, getting all of our gun towers upgraded. Now, this whole group was shielded. We'll see how fast they uh, they get taken down. Here we are upgrading our uh, cannon towers. And uh, our last gun tower is getting upgraded also. It might seem a little premature to upgrade these guys here since they got a huge wave of things coming by. But the reality is that uh, the other cannon towers have been pretty well covered for damage. And uh, the uh, upgrades here really allow me to uh, hammer them pretty hard. It uh, might have seemed kind of risky, but they had a whole corner to turn and they get pounded when they're around this corner with the upgraded towers. Bring the uh, towers down the uh, center column here. Oh, I forgot to mention, the uh, cores tick off just suddenly. Um, and there's a second core uh, base on this, farther up the map. For some reason, right at wave 13, they just all leave this first one and uh, bail out to that second one. So uh, that's why he commented uh, the power was low. Uh, nothing got through, just weird uh, scripting. The uh, aliens here are really just no match. They, have, they don't have a prayer, honestly. Command tower there. I want to say I put another temporal tower over there too. Oh, we've upgraded our front temporal tower. That gives us a wider range. Uh, longer slow down. So yeah, as I was saying at the beginning, this is going to be a uh, kind of a part of a new series playlist of just one-offs. I mean, I might do more defense grid levels, but I'm not planning to do a whole defense grid playthrough. Um, because it's, it's really not that exciting to watch, I understand, but... Uh, I just thought this level was pretty difficult. Thought I'd uh, show it to y'all. Um, but yeah, this will be the first of a series of one-offs. We'll do uh, one episode for a level like this, or um, you know, other games I might just want to try out. And not sure about playing. I might do a single episode of those. You know, something to look forward to. All right, here's the temporal power over here. This will really help things out too. Alright then, how's it? It is. So yeah folks, if you uh, like these videos, I appreciate any comments and sharing that you guys uh, do. Um, 
the rest of the video jumping around here a little bit, I had uh, issues with the game recording. For some reason, while playing, uh, it would randomly dump me out of the main menu. And I actually had a full-on crash happen there, but luckily the way Defense Grid does its autosave, you can pick up literally exactly where you left off. And uh, it just pops you right back. <clears throat> I guess we got a huge column of rhino guys here. Yeah, that's, that's more of that going on. Sorry for the funky video. We got a huge column of shielded rhinos. And, uh, with our upgraded cannon towers, temporal towers, they don't really stand a prayer. During our, uh, my practice play playthroughs, I would have lost the game at this point. And we'd already have, uh, they would already have eliminated everything. Okay, we upgraded our, um, Meteor Tower is second level. It's a huge, huge boost in firepower. It's ridiculous. Um, and from here on out, it's pretty much smooth sailing. Um, probably on this way or the next way, yeah, we start upgrading our uh, cannon towers to red, which costs 800 resources each. But it is well worth it. They fire much more rapidly and deal a lot more damage. I mean, it's really not even fair once we get the full regiment of red towers going. Nothing stands a chance. Because almost for this entire route, route, however you want to say it, they are in a state of being slowed and a state of being completely covered by cannons and guns. It is delicious. Delicious. Kill them. Kill them all. Get our red uh, gun towers up. The uh, turtle here holds, you know, some random, uh, not really random, uh, stuff on the inside. And uh, it can be annoying if you don't have the firepower to deal with them up front. Because they normally uh, dump a much quicker creature out from under themselves. I do believe the last turtle that comes through actually dumps a boss creature, though, just to be difficult. But uh, by then, we've got so many red towers, it's, uh, it doesn't last. You see the huge increase there in the meteor. It was almost twice as much damage. Yeah. We're on wave 27 out of 30. These guys don't have a chance. This wave was uh, difficult. Um, because the Seekers here actually start warping in uh, shield plays. So they get shielded. By uh, the creatures they were in. See, that one just worked in a shield, which I think worked in another shield. But, uh, I just got so much, so much damage going on here. It is, it is ridiculous. See, I didn't even make it around uh, toward the home stretch. This one here, I don't even think I'm paying attention to because so much power, so much firepower. Got a whole bunch of red towers now. Building up two more red uh, cannon towers. Yeah, this uh, this guy here dumps a boss creature. I forget what those guys are called. But, uh, he doesn't stand a chance. I mean, he only got eight or nine or ten squares before he drops. And uh, this is the final wave. The final wave actually gets close to getting out. video. Uh, let me know if you want me to do any more red fence grid levels. Uh, I'll try and live commentate them in the future because that's a little more interesting and actually a little bit easier on me. Not as so much editing going on that way. Yeah, that is what this world should look like. Uh, Free of the enemy. One thing that's left here is the uh, scorecard, I think. <clears throat> John.
Yep, 73,669 points. Good enough for the best medal of the game. And uh, like I said, I hope you folks enjoyed. Please uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, share with all your friends. And uh, we will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.